Pleasure. Good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric. And who knew the Yotes game between the Blue Jackets would become one of the most exciting games of the evening? And now I have the Ducks and and uh, and um, what's it called? Hurricanes game one and the Oilers game one on the side as well. But this was a very good game that became a shootout victory. Had to be battled to the bitter end for obviously the better of the two teams on paper and as results wise. Uh, this season as well in the Columbus Blue Jackets, where this is a game they did outshoot them. Scott Wedgwood was the better regulation goalie, the first star goaltender in the uh, overtime and regulation, as far as I'm concerned, getting absolutely hounded and playing great. And then he just got beat in the shootout. Elvis was in the building for the shootout, didn't have a great regulation, and did step up for them in the OT as well, as it was a good paced overtime. But this was a very good character game for the Coyotes to build on, being able to compete with this level of a team in the Columbus Blue Jackets, who's been playing really well this season. And they were able to compete with them. Ryan Dezingle, of course, had a very good snipe. Boone Jenner is going to be in the nightmares. A Yotes fan almost scored in there. They did not have the hat trick, apparently, because they gave the one to Wawinski, according to the telecast tonight. But still is going to be in the nightmares of them after. And then a former ECHL great, um, Dan Forth, was able to score. So I always love cheering those guys on as I cover the Reading Royals a lot for um, Flyers Nitty Gritty. Um, and he was able to pot a goal, so that was nice to see, as that was a dirty but good, as were Jenner's. So the Columbus Blue Jackets just found a will, there was a way, category, to be able to get this win would be the way to put it. And the Arizona Coyotes played a very impressive game themselves. Wedgwood was really good to keep them in it, but their offense was able to actually push the ante and get good opportunities in this game. Uh, Chikrin had a snipe, and then in the... Um, shootouts you were able to obviously have Alex Golchenyuk have a very nice move because when he's in the open ice we've seen him be very good and Lawson Krause continues to have a successful season as he potted another goal so all the things for the players you want to see moving in the right direction did happen in this game Keller also had good moments having a very nice assist after taking a bad penalty so this was a very good character um, loss honestly for the Yotes to just be able to build off of because you're a rebuilding team you're one of the worst um, teams in the league this year, but you want to have games like this that you can build off of and grow from, and this was exactly that for the Arizona Coyotes competing at this level with the Columbus Blue Jackets, a game that Pirlo and I on his Pure NHL Pearls of Wisdom show, check him out on Pearl of Wisdom, is from 3 to 5 each day in the East Coast uh, time. Um, we talked about how we thought the Blue Jackets would take advantage of the Coyotes just having a very open defense that they're able to just kind of pass all over, particularly players like Jake Voracek. That did not happen. They had to go all the way to a shootout to be able to win it due to Scott Wedgwood and also just an impressive play by the Coyotes' offense that was able to keep them in this game and overall play playing a solid game. This is a good game to build off of for them, a game that the Blue Jackets are going to want to come in and play teams like this a little bit better next time and not let them have as much open opportunities on the offensive end of things in a team like this because these teams are going to really compete at a high compete level because they got a lot of guys that are still playing for their careers to be able to prove that they still got some stuff and young guys that are proving that they can be in a lineup like Lawson Crowd, who's having a very good season thus far. So this has been a reaction to the Columbus Blue Jackets having to fight to the death to the end basically to win in a shootout and then that's when Elvis was in the building to play better than Scott Wedgwood who I would say is a third star of this game for keeping them in the game and getting them as far as they did and then obviously Boone Jenner is going to be the, the second star of this game and then Chinkakoff we're going to give is the first star um, because he played a very good game and won in the shootout and had a nice move there. The young kid wins it. That's just great to see as uh, he was able to win it in the shootout there. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.